are you most beautiful and most amazing top tenors? How on earth are you today? Are you feeling spacey? I certainly hope so. I'm Rebecca Felgate and today we are getting intergalactic on most amazing top 10. That's right, I present to you the top 10 incredible moments in space. Let's get going, shall we? In at number 10, we have Felix Baumgartner and Alex Eustace. In 2012, Felix Baumgartner became the first man in the world to skydive from the edge of space. The Austrian teamed up with Red Bull to jump 127,852 feet above the Earth, and apparently he was free falling through the Earth's atmosphere for around four minutes before his parachutes were deployed. Now, in 2014, his record was beaten by American Alan Eustace, a former senior vice president at Google. So he went up into the stratosphere in a helium balloon and jumped out at around 135,908 feet. Now this is record breaking and insane can you imagine? In at number 9 we have the Stardust Comet Sample Return Mission. Launched in 1999, Stardust went on a 7 year mission to collect samples and comets and cosmic dusts. Now this was the first solid sample mission in 30 years. Now the exciting thing about this mission is that Stardust brought back samples of interstellar dust. Now this may consist of ancient pre-solar grains that are older than our entire solar system. Now this could shed some serious light on the origin of our solar system and life as we know it. Incredible. In at number 8 we have the Hubble Space Telescope. Launched in 1990, Hubble is the largest and most versatile telescope in space. Initially developed by our mates NASA along with the European Space Agency, hooray for Hubble! So this long lensed honey has since captured some high res images of space that have led to some pretty deep studies on our solar system. In at number 7 we have the birth of satellite navigation. So this is for sure an incredible moment in space because this has led to changes right here on earth. Do you guys use google maps? Do you use gps on your phone? Have you ever watched satellite television? Do you use gps in your car? Well if so, you can thank human endeavours in space. It all started with Sputnik, the first ever artificial satellite launched back in 1957 by the Soviet Union. Using similar technology, GPS aka Global Positioning Satellites was created by the US Department of Defence and became partially operational in 1995. GPS uses 24 separate satellites to function and provides location and time information in all weather conditions anywhere on the earth where there is an unobstructed line of sight of four or more GPS satellites. Handy. In at number 6 we have the Mars Exploration Rovers. Now this began in 2003, NASA's Mars Exploration Rover mission is a space mission involving two robots, Spirit and Opportunity. Honestly, who names these things? They had the opportunity to call them Captain like Nebulize or the other one Robot McRobot Face, but no, they went with Spirit and Opportunity. Fine. Unfortunately, Spirit died in 2011, which is very, very sad, but Opportunity lives on, discovering in memory of its sibling. Anyway, understanding the red planet is crucial to understanding our own place in the solar system. We already know that at one time Mars was a water planet like Earth. Now, amongst other discoveries, the Mars rovers have been able to give us signs that water still exists somewhere on the planet. We also now know more about the atmosphere of Mars, we've discovered evidence of meteor crashes and evidence of ancient acid lakes. In at number 5 we have Voyager 1. So Voyager 1 is the furthest away from Earth a man-made object has ever been. Just think about that for a second. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was launched to study space. It worked for a whopping 36 years until it went out of our solar system in 2013. Guys, it is no longer in our solar system. Seriously, think about that. It is 12 billion miles away from the sun right now. Scientists were able to learn that Voyager 1 travelled through a layer of plasma before entering interstellar space. The mind literally boggles if you even try and imagine where this thing is right now and what it can see if it had eyes. In at number 4 we have building the International Space Station. The International Space Station is the largest artificial thing in orbit and can sometimes be seen from Earth. Hello astronaut friends, it's us. How are you doing? The station has been continuously manned since November 2000 and makes missions to Mars and the Moon a whole lot easier, allowing for more to take place with success. Guys, like humans now have a home outside the Earth in space. 
I love it. In at number three, we have Yuri Gangarin. This is the first man in space. We owe so much to Yuri Gangarin. Without him, almost all of these incredible moments in space would not have been possible. Yuri was from Russia, and in 1961, aged just 27, he became the first human to go into outer space as he completed an orbit of the Earth. Now, his bravery was outstanding, rendering him the ultimate explorer. Unfortunately, his love for flying did lead to his demise. He died when the MIG-15 jet he was piloting crashed. Suffice to say though guys, without Yuri, this next moment would have been practically impossible. Yep, that's right. In at number two, we have man walking on the moon, the 1969 moon landing. So on May the 25th, 1961, President John F. Kennedy announced before the world that America would put a man on the moon by the end of the decade. Unfortunately, he didn't live to see it, but it did happen. He stayed true to his promise. July 21st, 1969 is a date that has gone down in history as one of the most important days in our existence. Apollo 11 landed on the moon at 8 p.m. on the 20th of July, and six hours later, at four minutes to three in the morning, astronaut Neil Armstrong took the first steps onto the lunar surface. Together with Buzz Aldrin, he explored the surface for two and a half hours while pilot Michael Collins waited in the spacecraft. So these guys walked on the moon, they popped an American flag in there, and it's still up there today. Fun fact for you guys, there are a total of six American flags on the moon, and apparently, in time, they've turned white. Fun fact. So guys, we have reached that all important moment in our most amazing top 10 incredible moments in space. We've had some strong contenders, but there is only one moment in space, which for us at least is the ultimate incredible moment. And that absolutely has to be hands down the birth of the earth. That's right, the big old bang. Scientists have discovered that the Earth was created four and a half billion years ago. Slightly less simply, particles collided within a solar nebula. Thousands of books and essays have been written on the subject that can explain the process a little bit better than me, but what we need to know is that boom, one day, the beginning of the Earth happened, and over the course of a billions and billions of years, the Earth has changed, cooling, allowing for oxygen, forming oceans, and ultimately creating a climate from which human beings can thrive. Even the word incredible wouldn't exist without this one incredible moment. End of. So guys, that was the top 10 incredible moments in space. Did I miss anything out? Also, do let me know what your favorite moment from this list has to be. Was it the bang? Was it the walking on the moon? I mean, for me, they're all incredible. I'm not gonna lie, my head now absolutely hurts from all the information and possibilities, and I just need to like have a little lie down and think about stuff. I'm Rebecca Felgate. This has been Most Amazing Top 10. Be sure to check out our other videos. Also, if you like this one, you may enjoy the top 10 things that could destroy the Earth or the top 10 things you can do with science. Science is cool. You guys are cool. I like to think the top 10 is cool. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you, major honeys, next time. Bye.